Hey guys, it's Wacko here. And today with us we have Sora. Hi guys. And today we're going to be reviewing Kingdom Hearts Drop a Distance. Now, this is the first game that ever been on the di on the Nintendo DS, right? Yes. It released on the 3DS. Remember correctly, it was our first debut, me and Riku, on a 3DS. So, a lot of effects came from that. Let's see how this game became the game it could be. The story. Sora and Riku are set in training, becoming a Keyblade Master. The training includes them discovering new Disney worlds, dream eaters, which are like pets, and at some point Sora gets trapped at Organization 13 and Riku has to go and save him. Now the real gr crazy thing about this game is that you can play as Sora and Riku. Isn't that right, Sora? Yeah, it's pretty similar to train to um train Reaching of Memories where um you get to play as Riku and me as well. So basically you get to do it again in this story, which is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Okay. So at this point you got trapped and Riku had to come out and save you, right? Yeah. To me, this story was pretty confusing. So, in a way, I felt like it could have been done better, where the um, Origin 13 could have, you know, you know, could have came later or whatever. I feel a lot that they had to ruin Sora's big test. Yeah, tell me about it. I really blame them for everything for not letting me win, but Yun said it has something to do with me, which I believe he's right. Yeah, in a way, I guess you're right. It was kind of your own fault, and you deserve to try another chance at becoming better. But you could have passed without them being involved. Yeah, I guess so. But I needed to learn the power of awakening. So neither way, I needed to learn something from that. Yeah, I guess it was worth it if you were learning something. The Gameplay it is fun, but a bit outdated, with a with a three D images and the effects. With that, it's a very outdated game, so you wouldn't be playing it nowadays. But with the effects of Riku and Sora playing as each other, it could be a well thought out game. Yeah, it could also be really fun with the with you training your own Dream Eater and all that stuff. At least now you can see the Dream Eater in, in Kingdom Hearts 3, which is a step up, I guess. The characters. Sora is weak, but okay. Okay? What do you mean, okay? I'm better than anybody else in that game. Well, in this one, you were pretty weak. It was a pretty really weak moment for you. Well, yeah. In this game, it wasn't anything special, but you know what? It was more about Riku than it was about me. So I kind of congratulated him in this in this game, for he passed and I didn't. So it's more about him than me, so... Why bother, I guess? I feel bad coming here. Oh, don't feel bad. Look, Amanda's, Amanda chose you. And, well... I couldn't get Riku or anybody else to do this review. And you're the best friend there is to review this project with. I'm glad I have you. Aw, oh, thanks. Or my friends Mickey and Goofy were there, too. Yeah. And yet Sid was a good teacher. I guess he was just trying to work out the best for you. Yeah. Half the time I was asleep, but, you know, I think I got it covered. Riku is my best friend that always took up for me. Without him, I wouldn't even be here, I guess. Yeah. Overall, this game is good, and it's just is a little bit outdated. If it I wish it grew more with its audience. Yeah. I have to admit, I think there are better games out there for me to like that I have featured in. Maybe next time we'll talk about Kingdom Hearts 3 and how that's better. Well, we'll have to wait and see, Sora. We'll have to wait and see. I give this game 8 out of 10.